All the games in this book are made with a programming language called Scratch. Scratch is easy to learn because you don't have to type any complicated code. Instead, you build programs from ready-made blocks. Getting started. A project in Scratch usually starts with choosing what objects or sprites you will appear in the game. Scratch is a large library of ready-made sprites to get you started. Sprites. Sprites are the things that move about or react in the game. They can be anything from animals and people, pizzas or spaceships. You can bring each sprite to life on screen with a list of instructions called a script. Scripts. Scripts are made up of blocks that you can drag with a computer mouse and join together like jigsaw pieces. Each block contains one instruction, so it's easy to understand. Working together. Games are usually made up of several sprites working together, each controlled by their own script. Scripts make sprites move about, crash into each other, create sounds, and change color or shape. Some sprites act as enemies to make a game more difficult. A typical scratch project. Once you've built a script, you can click the green flag to see what it does. All the action takes place in a part of the scratch window called the stage. Sprites move about on the stage, often in front of a background image that helps create atmosphere. Running a program. Starting or running a program activates the scripts that you've built. To make the stage fill your whole computer screen, click the blue symbol on the top left. To stop a program, press the red button on the top right. Making sprites move. In a typical game, the player moves one sprite and the other sprites are programmed to move automatically. The script below makes the dinosaur in this project chase the cat. When the green flag is clicked, the dinosaur will point to the cat. Move forward 15 steps. Adding the forever block keeps the sprite moving endlessly. Please like this video and subscribe.